Yo, I wanted to give you juicy people a quick heads up on some pretty cool gaming deals. There are some pretty heavy hitting gaming discounts out and about and everyone can use a good gaming deal in their life uh, now and then. I want to start with the game that ruined every space movie for me, Kerbal Space Program. And to be fair, this is how your gaming session with Kerbal Space Program will go. First, you'll spend the first few hours building and testing rockets, and trying to get it into orbit at least, laugh at all of the explosions and the ever increasing body count, and realize that you have absolutely no idea how orbital mechanics work. Then you will actually do research on how rockets work and achieve orbit, yeah, maybe watch a YouTube video or two or seven in my case. Then you did it, you actually got your own rocket into orbit and you have to realize that you have no idea how to get to the moon and you have to understand a whole different type of orbital mechanics. Sooner rather than later you will actually land your juicy butt cheeks on the moon and realize that there's another moon and a bunch of other planets and asteroids that you can capture and bring into orbit, resources that you can harvest into rocket fuel and the surface of other planets, it's an absolutely amazing game. There can be no doubt that Kerbal Space Program gets my world famous sick fish stick seal of approval. It's currently delivering a heavy hitting 75% off, making it 10 euros or around 11 ish bucks. It's um, sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam with a total of 100,000 reviews. Next, let me get your eyeballs on For Honor, which is sitting in with a juicy 85% off, making it nothing but a few peanuts. So if you haven't tried it yet, then now is the time. This game is just like my ex-girlfriend. It's beautiful and interesting on the surface, but it can be incredibly unbalanced on the inside. The game is currently sitting in with mixed reviews, which I think it gets because the game doesn't know whether to balance around 4 vs 4 or 1 vs 1, causing imbalance in uh, both modes. Overall, however, I think it's definitely more positive than negative. If you take the time to learn all of the complex mechanics in the game, I think you can have tons of fun. I suggest you go try it out and let me know if you agree with my findings. Next, a quick mention to a game played by over 20 million nerds. Black Desert Online is an open world action MMORPG wanting you to take it for a spin. You get to experience intense action packed combat, battle massive world bosses, fight alongside friends to siege and conquer castles all in triple HD goodness. Now I'm not saying this game is a play to win type of thing, but I am pretty sure that you can equip your wallet as your main weapon and bitch slap all of the poor people around. I have absolutely no time for an MMO, so I don't really know if Black Desert Online is good or not, but I can see it has a lot of grinding and uh, sprinkled with opportunities to pay to win. It's currently sitting in with juicy 90% off, making it a silly euro, so I guess you can get in uh, for the cheap. Next up, the True and True Besieged, which is a physics based building game in which you construct medieval siege weapons. Here you battle your way through a 54 level single player campaign, unleash chaos with friends in multiplayer and create your very own worlds with the level editor. And the nice thing is that since this bad boy has been out for quite some time, you can actually customize the game with various mods through the Steam Workshop to add an extra level of uh, spice. The learning curve in Besiege is brutal, but uh, by the end of it, the Da Vinci himself would be proud of your pretty big brain. You will be building trebuchets that throw bombs and bombs that throw trebuchets, and my friend, it's some big brain stuff. Besiege is currently sitting in with 75% off, making it a sweet 3.5 euros or around 4 bucks. It's currently sitting in with overwhelmingly positive reviews, which it definitely deserves. Next up, let's take a look of Homeworld Karak, which is a ground-based RTS prequel to the classic Homeworld games. Here, you'll assemble a fleet and lead them to victory on shifting sands of Karak in this compelling big brain strategy boy from uh, Blackbirds Interactive. There's a certain vibe to this game which I really like. If you want to feel like you're in the command room of a sophisticated carrier, in the very heart of the action, following your soldiers as they engage enemies in real time, ever changing battlefields, then boy, this game is what you're looking for. Deserts of Karak tries its hardest to deliver the very best military sci-fi, blending futuristic weapons with the look and feel of a modern warfare. It's a bit coarse around the edges, but I blame all of the rough sand in various cracks. There's both an online part and a single player campaign, and if you'd prefer to stay away from human contact, uh, just like me. 
but it's nice that the both options are available. So if you want to take this bad boy out for a spin, you can get your hands on it at the low low price of 90% off. And that pretty much brings us to the end of today's video. Well, thanks a lot for taking time to watch my video. Thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, uh, subscribe if you haven't, like it, why not? Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.